Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Open Green Energy. In this video, I will explain you what is a power wall, how it works. We will also make our own version of DIY power wall. So without any further delay, let's move to make the project. What is Tesla power wall? It is a power backup system containing lithium iron battery packs, inverter, charger and controller. How it works? It integrates with grid power from your utility and solar panels on your roof and it can provide backup power to your entire house or you can charge your e-vehicle like Tesla car. For better understanding, let's have a look to this animation. Out of the four components of the power wall, the lithium ion battery packs is most important. In this video, we will mostly concentrate on making of the lithium ion battery pack. So let's move to make the battery pack. To make a lithium ion battery pack, we have to connect the 18650 battery in series and parallel configuration. Guys, if you understand the basic of series and parallel connection, then I am sure you can make easily your battery pack as per your requirement. Series connection. In the series connection, the positive terminal of the first battery is connected to the negative terminal of the second battery and so on until the desired voltage is reached. The final voltage of the battery pack is sum of the battery voltages, while the final capacity remains unchanged. For example, if we consider a single cell, the voltage is 3.7 volt and 2.6 ampere hour. It may be changed in your case, it is just for example. This configuration is known as 1S1P where S represent to series and P represent parallel. In the next configuration, we have connected two battery in series. That's why the configuration is 2S1P. In this configuration, you can see the voltage is added, 7.4 volt. At the same time, the capacity remain unchanged. In parallel connection, the positive terminal of all the batteries are connected together and all the negative terminals also connected in the same way. In this configuration, the final voltage remain unchanged while the capacity of the battery pack is the sum of all the individual cells. In this configuration, you can see the voltage remain unchanged while the capacity is added. Similarly, you can also see this example, where the four batteries are connected in 2S2P configuration. That means the voltage and capacity both are added. I hope you clearly understand the basic of the series and parallel connection. Now let's see the feedback from a Powerwall user so that you can realize what we can do by using the Powerwall. I've had solar panels on the roof of my house for seven years and just recently I've upgraded it and fitted a Tesla power wall. So even if the battery is completely flat, by the time I, I'm up and around with the dogs, it's got probably three, four, five percent. And that's enough, interestingly, to boil a kettle and put on the toaster. On a sunny day, mid-morning, it's at 50 percent. I know that I'm capturing most of that electricity for later use, so it's a very, very different mindset. The Tesla app, I'm embarrassed to admit, I reckon 20, 25 times a day, I'll check it. I get a little bit obsessive with it, I admit. So basically what a power wall lets you do is use the power from the sun at night. When the family's here and we're cooking, the laundry's doing, the washing machine's on, the tumble dryer, the dishwasher, the kettle, I know we're not taking that power from the grid, which we used to be when we only had solar panels and didn't store the energy. Now we're taking all that power from the power wall. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. You can order high quality PCB prototype only at $5. The link is given in the video description. If you want to make the battery pack in the traditional way, you have to connect the batteries by using nickel strip. So you must need a sport welder to connect them and you have to be very careful during the building process. But in this video, I will show you a different method. It will not require the nickel strips and spot welder. So anyone can make it easily without any prior knowledge. In the new method, you will only need the custom PCB. The PCB is designed by Jeho Garcia. You can download the GOVA file of the PCB from the link given in the video description. Or you can directly buy the PCB from the Jeho's website. In this method only you have to insert the battery into the battery slot 
then stack the PCB one above the other. You can add number of PCB to make the desired capacity and voltage level. The PCB has 7 battery slots and all the batteries are connected in series. So each PCB is designated as 7S1P. Before making the battery pack, we have to check the individual cells. Ideally, the cell voltages shall be equal. In my case, the cell voltages are very near to each other and it is 4.15 volt. In the PCB, the positive and negative polarities are clearly indicated. So there is no confusion during the insertion of the battery into the battery holder. In this project, we will make a 7S8P battery pack. Each PCB is designated as 7S1P. So we need 8 such PCBs to make the battery pack. Apart from the battery PCB, we need a BMS board, which is required to balance the individual cells and provide different protections to the battery pack. After populating the battery PCB, ensure that the stand-ups are tightly secured. You can use a spanner to tighten the stand-ups. At last you have to add the BMS board. The BMS board uses 3 separate BMS to handle higher current. Then connect the bullet connector for charging and discharging the battery pack.
After installing the BMS board, we have to connect the balancing cable for balancing individual cells. After connecting the balancing cable, you can check the battery pack voltage by connecting a multimeter. Now our battery pack is ready for use. Here I have shown you the battery pack with capacity 0.5 kWh. For making a power wall, you need much more power. You have to populate similar PCBs to achieve the higher capacity. In future, I will make separate videos on other components of the power wall. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. Have a nice day.